wants to go more like uh, the more normal build we see is like this Yule's Aether Lens build. He doesn't really get health. People will go that just happens a little too late. And he's got to be really careful about his positioning in bottom lane. Ninja Boogie, of course, had such a good performance on that Witch Doctor last game. Just couldn't really close it out. So it's a good start for Secret being able to keep him down. But it is going to be a free farm for Nico Baby's Puppy. teams. They're not able to do too much. Puppy going to drop low here, turned around, setting up the Seder, but he's going to be slowed down by the Enchant, and they don't even need the Seder Shockwave to finish him off. And KP having completely free lane at the top. Raging Potato is going to find him right now. The stun flies out first, doesn't have a toss target. Toss away, they're going to be able to get Yapsor, but he does still have that haste room. He's going to play in the river, trying to get those high ground shots against Rage of Potato, positioning himself. Good LSA. Now they're going to try and challenge him. Rage of Potato knows he's dead. They're just hoping to be able to get a kill on Yapsor. The last shot chased him down. Yapsor falls. The supports get traded out. Mid one still has to be careful. He's completely out of mana. Does pop the mango, but agonizing for them. Allow your PA to get as much space as you can. This is still a very strong PA game. You're going to get Bloodlust plus and power. She can carry them in this situation, but she needs to get some time bought for her. And that's why they're going to go for the smoke, try to defend this mid tower, maybe even catch out this tiny here. Rage of Potato is going to die, but as Vineski runs down the high ground, are they going to be able to get some sort of opening here? They're going to try and go for mid one. Virtual actually got tossed from the air. The RP goes on the lead to make sure there's no follow up on a mid one, but skewer back into the tower. But Mineski, they have control of this area. They're going to be able to take down the two supports. Maybe Zai will as he slowed down by KP. A little bit more impetus shots. He actually gets a little bit more vision. One last shot is not going to be enough. The magic stick actually keeping him alive, but it means Mineski do in the fight and do take the tower. Yeah, you saw that both teams have the same goal. Nisha, the only way that you can enable him in a game like this is to give him that triangle. And that's exactly why Ninja Boogie is doing the right thing. Ward that area, take it away from him, and just make the map smaller and smaller for Secret. The weird part is they have this huge ancient stack, but nobody really has the power to take it, not even Nisha yet. So he's like, it feels like he has a better job. And he's like, yeah, we did. <laughs> and instead, Mushi's all smiles. He's making yep. jokes with her. He's saying our team's good. The team looks like they're they're fine. So far, 17 minutes in, they've got an 8K gold lead. They're not out of the woods yet. Last game, if anything, proves to them. It's not over until it's over. The crazy part is that Mineski have been getting so many kills around the map without having to use the Chronosphere. So Secret will remain scared of them at all times. In fact, so scared that they lose the tier two mid. Nico Baby hasn't shown himself until finally he does. He sees the storm tiered up in the top lane. They thought that Nico Baby was behind them at mid. That's why they didn't challenge. And that's why mid one showed himself at top lane and where he gets caught and where Mineski see the opportunity to push to high They're ground. They're going for high ground right now? They really are. Wow. This is early. No rush or anything. Zai gonna grow up. The used. Nico Baby, they don't get a burst yet for the Fire Blast. He's gonna be able to time walk away while Zai sacrificed his life at a gambit to be able to bring down the carry of Mineski. A buyback, and that's all Mineski wanted to be able to see. Rage of Potato, he may be the sacrificial lamb, but no, Mineski will protect that little lamb. The Rocky boy will get away. He's got a blink dagger up. He's fine. And that was, and they're gonna run into potential gift, but there's four heroes down here. That's why everybody wants to rotate in. They have a TP on their faces void. They want to bring in more. But Moon, he thinks twice about it. And they take the top fight without Chronosphere. Is this Invis rune going to be enough an advantage? He's going to break several smokes. He's going to be spotted by the sentry. Rod of Atos goes out, but just on a puppy. That shouldn't really matter. KP knowing that. Retreats back behind this tier one tower. You said that Mineski would fight to defend this tower. But will they win this fight? If they're going to have to do it without a Chronosphere. Nisha almost dying already. The infinite shot, the last one. And it's all the way in advance. They nail the Nisha falls. Puppy, he's going to be eliminated. The Laguna play comes out. Toss away. Yaps are trying to hide in the trees. The Telkinis is hitting Raging Potato. Means they can't find a third kill for that. Well, mid one bides his time. I think he's looking to be able to cut some creep ways because this. Miss Lena is so farmed cap. She has triple the enemy mid's net worth. And they're just playing four man together. They do mean to run a Nisha here. Hit him with the avalanche. Rod of Atos goes out. There goes the fresh BKB. That's going to be a fire blast. But there's the Chronosphere to be able to control him up. If they actually get these impetus, mid one actually goes through Rage of Potato to be able to finish him off. This cure and the RP on it too. Mid one sitting on top of him with the fire blast as well. That's going to be the Aegis coming from Nico Baby. But KP is plenty healthy, and that's why he's going to run down Puppy. Secret. It was an okay engagement for them. Got the Aegis out of the hands of Mineski, but it still cost them a hero. Not the worst trade in the world. And that was the buyback. 
by Raging Potato. They need all of these engagements. And the top lane is getting cut. Oh, they're going to all in for this. They try and burn some down, but they don't actually hit him. The Avalanche covers the ground, and now they watch up in the air. Raging Potato made the read. The Chrono Sphere coming up from the outdoor is beautiful, but they want you to get there. Dying. There goes the lead up before the single spell is cast. And now Nico, baby, he's trying to get the patch out. He's trying to finish up. Actually, Maneski aren't able to get something out of this, but KP, he can stay alive for a long sure. time, but it's underneath the tier three, he will fall. Ultra kill for mid one. Secrets, you have to be careful against this team. Any, just a second of weakness, and they will pounce. And now he's, you know, is he gonna be the one who steps a little bit too far from his team? Sure enough, tell pieces and a quick assassination by Nisha. But Nico, baby, he's not too far away. Secret, run to the right, sit running down lane. Oh, that's the Chronosphere! He tells Venice Cat Mid One jumps to the edge. Nico, baby, pops the BKB, but the Chronosphere is stolen by Yamsor. Can he turn this around? That Mid One dies! Justin, the Chronosphere fades away. Yamsor, look at him be able to turn this. Has held pieces, toss him here. Yul Tester Zai immediately throws out the RP, locks down Moon. Who's getting locked in? Nico, hold up. Four staff away. BKB activated. Nisha having a hard time. Under goes the Chronosphere. What can they do anything about it? Nisha, look at him be jumped on the edge. Nico Baby doesn't want to overcommit, but he does have the agents with his telekinesis. He'll actually die to tier three. Lena does not buy back. She could join her team if she wants to in this push. I don't think Moon wants to get into a position where he buys back and they have to race again. That was the Aegis used. They've got a reset off of this. And the Absor once again with the Chrono Steel. The positioning of it was perfect. The toss forward, the skewer back. KP, and they actually get up. They need another crit to force that away. Nico Baby looks to be able to slow down Nisha. The Rod of Atos actually gets him in PA. Stuck. KP like starts casting off now. The paralyzing cast. Nisha working. What a swing. And Nisha being locked down. He will fall. No buyback there either. 19k gold lead. Three heroes down. Nico Baby going for the melee racks. They're in such a good position right now. All they have to do, take the racks, reset. The storm's about to be alive. Secret, they've got to be careful though. They've got no big spells to defend this with no RP. Will this be the one fight? KP, he's got to be on March 4. Tell Nisha actually chooses to jump the top of the BKB. Can they blow him up in time with a fire blast? Multicast, they will. No buy back there. Slaps him in the face, says, no, not here, not oh, today. That couldn't have been more perfect because then Zai comes in with the RP. Radiance Middle Tower. Blitz, do you believe in that 10%? I do. I told you, it just takes one fight. We don't know what's going on in the booth. Is it composure or is it fear? But if it is composure, I have to admire Maneski for just continuing. Like, they'll smoke up. They'll try to find a pickoff like this for Raging Potato. But they never go all in. They never give Secret that opportunity. They're going to go for Luffy here. Chronosphere does manage to catch the outdoor in the back. But it doesn't catch the door. The two. The Chronosphere is taking time around. They're going to go against the Chronosphere of the outdoor. Getting stopped in the hole. Again, and the, that was the perfect fight for Maneski. The Mjolnir. Boogie, look at the spray on the ground. Loser, I've got you, Ninja Boogie. Zai fishes him out. That's another hero without buyback. Moon, Nico, baby. 
They're the only ones left alive for Mineski. How are they going to hold? How are they going to repel the five mana team secret who's now inside their base? And this time, they're going they don't have head. to go for tier threes. This time, they can go straight for the tier fours. And this time, can Nico Baby land the Chronosphere? He's got 12 seconds left. Can he pull out the miracle? Eight seconds. One tier four dead. Two I seconds. The dream chrono. Another tier four gone. Zero seconds. Chrono cheers up and he goes for Nisha. He's gonna try and take out the Phantom Assassin as quick as possible. Look at the damage fall again. The bats are gonna be good enough. He's done. It's in buyback though. Puppy gonna be chasing Nico Baby's already blown his BKB. They HD secret. They said Nisha was a fine target. We are still out. Can they make their own miracle hold? They're left with Zai. How could these two possibly row shot? Ages, cheese, agonies. They're paying refresher for us right now. They don't want deja vu cap. They want this game to be over, but first, they've got to kill these two heroes. Into the tier fours they go. Zai has to make the RP of his life here. They need to hold 30 seconds for two heroes to come back. 15 seconds for mid one. One tier four already down. Nico Baby about to finish up. There goes the skewer. Brought in raging a potato. He has the sector. He has the force down. He can get out of this mess. KP tries to save him that. They're just hitting the ball. He's able to stop him. They're going for the throw. They're going to go in right now. 